Hey YouTube, Rival X Factor here, and it's time for another episode of Control Freak, where we'll be fe featuring the ACWR, the engineer weapon. And here's the main loadout that I use, because this gun has a lot of pros and a couple cons. Uh, I use heavy barrel, no foregrip, and red dot or cobra, whatever you, whatever you choose. And there's a couple reasons for that. This gun is very strong at long range due to its high minimal damage and fast rate of fire and low recoil, low bullet deviation. Where it lacks is a small magnum, uh, magazine size at 27 rounds and then 20 maximum damage. So headshots are only 40 uh, versus other carbines and uh, engineer weapons which hit people for 50 in the head. Okay, So let's take a look at uh, how this weapon shoots and let's do this without uh, correcting the recoil. Okay. Okay, to the upper right. Correct? So this thing has a very nice reload even when the, the, the clip is empty. So the way we counter this recoil is we pull down to the right. Pull down to the right, kind of on this angle here. Okay, it has very, very tight bullet patterns that makes up for the minimum damage. So up close, this gun kind of can hold its own. So it's not as bad, such as the Scar L or some of the other weapons in the game. Uh, but at long range, it just dominates. So let's take a look at some live footage and talk over the pros and cons there. We're gonna play some nose hair canal uh, rush defense. And this is a great kit because this is this is a kit that's rewarded for wide open spaces. And, and why is that? Well, let's go over some of the numbers. The minimum damage from this weapon with a heavy barrel is 16.7 per bullet. It actually outshoots the M4A1 at about 55, uh, about 56 to 57 meters. It actually outshoots and does more damage than the carbines. Uh, the nice thing is this thing does shoot 850 rounds a minute, so it does shoot faster than the M4A1, which is arguably the best competitive carbine or engineer weapon right now in the game. Obviously, I'm sh uh, setting my NG trap here. And there's a couple funny moments in this round, so I'm just kind of let it play out and uh, call out some of the uh, slower uh, playing. And I notice I'm getting shot from up above the hangar, and then I get shot from someplace in containers probably. So a wall for Conquest people. But uh, this weapon, at, at 50 meters, it is just disgusting. 60 meters is just disgusting because you could put bullets down and almost mag dump 10 bullets and put them all on track. So what you should be able to do is shoot a high accuracy with this weapon with a high amount of headshots because the bullet deviation is very low com compared to other weapons in this game, which makes me very happy. Up close, it does shoot rather fast, so that can save you from the uh, low minimum damage. But, you know, if somebody's got an AEK M16 or M4A1, they're probably going to beat you just because they're doing five more damage up close a bullet. Obviously, over full bullets without a headshot, that's 20 damage. That's a lot. So if you're getting those headshots with this thing and you can aim rather well, you're going to do well. You will like this weapon no matter what range. It's not as limited as a Scar L. Scar L is great at range, sucks up close. This thing's great at range and is fairly good up close. It's not a, it's not a world killer up close, but it does well. So right here, got a nice little hip fire. The hip fire is pretty accurate on this weapon, even with heavy barrel. And there, is, you know, I'm running no foregrip. Uh, heavy barrel, okay, as you can see on uh, my gun. But you can run silencer because there isn't much damage fall off. So if you don't like showing up on the mini map, silencer is a valid option for this gun. Uh, I'm one to make guns uh, use their strengths to make them stronger. So on something like this, you'll see me do a heavy barrel. Uh, just because it's, it's a dominating gun at long range. The recoil is not horrible on this gun. Uh, the drop off starts at 8 just like most of the uh, the carbine. So at 8 meters, you'll do 40 to the head, 20 to the body. Um, and beyond that, that's where the bullet start, uh, bullet drop-off starts. So if you ever want to know what uh, 8 meters looks like, go on a Conquest flag or Conquest map and just look at a flag and just creep up. This guy just got magnumed. And uh, right now I'm saying, okay, I'm on a water map. And uh, I like Rambo. The Rambo 4 is a great movie. And there's a scene where he just blows the shit out of some bad guys with the boat and I'm about to relive every childhood dream and blow the shit out of some bad guys with a boat but you're saying x-factor you're on your defense how'd you get a boat I stole it so actually one of my teammates shot the guy out of the boat and then I stole it so that's gonna be coming up shortly so where should you pick your fights with this weapon 
anywhere uh, about 40 some meters and beyond, 45 meters and beyond, your uh, time to kill is actually faster uh, than uh, the M4A1 at, at several distances. Uh, so what happens is once you hit that 40 meter, the time to kill with heavy barrel versus M4A1 with heavy barrel is actually faster with the ACWR. So 40 meters seems to be the sweet spot for this weapon and beyond. Uh, obviously, you know, at 80 meters, it's a full second off, and that's with controlling your recoil and whatnot. So this is a kit that I suggest. Now the big penis is rolling up, and what's going to come out of that? Uh, you know, this thing's got fucking God knows how much life. You just can keep pounding it, pounding it, pounding it, and it never dies. Now the C4 guys are going in. So, you know, remember this weapon next time you want a different kit. And remember, it's got 27 in the mag. That kind of sucks. I wish it had 31 because this thing shoots so fast it just dumps ammo out. So here comes me reliving my Rambo moment in two separate ways. First, I'm saying, what the fuck is with this? I can't zoom in. The recoil, you know, the, uh, the deviation on this thing's huge. But I'm going to pull up. I want a better view. There I am. Steroid muscles out. Raging. Just like Rambo did in the movie. Except I didn't get paid <laughs> 15 million. And uh, there's my giddy laugh. I can't edit that out. So, a little funny moment. There's actually one more funny moment in this. And uh, it has to do with people who glitch or you'll spawn out of spawn beacons on top of uh, on the, uh, the hangar to the far left. So, I, I spawned a buddy here, a, a community guy. And, uh, you know, I have no idea where the hell I'm at. But I start to get shot at. It's like, all right, shooting at dead bodies, that's not cool. Where the hell is this shot coming from? Oh, hello. And here's... This, I try to shoot the spot like you can at the tins on Conquest, and then he just gets the old old Magnum. Now look at this name. Look at this name, because this name's going to come up real quick again, this poor bastard. So first, you know, I shoot him up there. He doesn't learn his lesson. I'm pretty sure he decides to come back, and uh, I say fuck it and uh, deal with the pest here in a minute. And I thought I was going to spawn on the ground, but oh, lo and behold, oh, look at that. Oh, roof campers. Oh. Meet my RPG. Oh, it's the same guy I just killed. <laughs> so I, I love that. So we successfully defend this bomb. This is a great kit. M4A1 is also a great kit for this. Uh, MTAR, not so great. So much recoil on this map. Very bad at long distance. Uh, things like the equivalent of the FAMAS to control the recoil. So hopefully you guys give this a uh, thumbs up, this video. And uh, let me know the feedback of what you think. And again, you can run silencer. You do not need foregrip. Don't need it. It's accurate enough, so why would you mess with the bullet deviation? Foregrip tends to add bullet deviation to kits. So you don't need that. I'm going to play uh, hide from the penis because this round's almost done. So and don't forget, when you shoot this gun, stand still. You get the biggest bonus. Thanks for watching, guys, and I look forward to hearing the feedback down below.